my channel economics class from Sachindra. In this video, we are going to discuss about the phases or stages of a typical business cycle or a trade cycle. First of all, let us be clear about what is a business cycle or what is a trade cycle. The concept business cycle or trade cycle has been defined differently from time to time by different economists. For example, according to John Maynard Keynes, a business cycle is composed of periods of good trade characterized by rising prices and low unemployment percentages altering with the periods of bad trade characterized by falling prices and high unemployment percentages yeah jm keynes in his monumental work entitled the general theory of employment interest and money published in the year 1936 has very correctly said a typical trade cycle is composed of periods of good trader again characterized by a rising trend of prices and low unemployment percentages alternating with periods of bad trader characterized by falling prices and the existence of high unemployment percentages okay another economist frederick menham has defined trade cycle as see it is a period of prosperity followed by the period of depression anyhow a typical business cycle or trade cycle has five different phases that is five different stages see depression followed by recovery then prosperity inflation recession and again ends up with uh, finally depression okay the five different stages of a typical business cycle according to jm keynes is depression recovery full employment inflation and recession okay these five stages or phases of a business cycle that is economic fluctuations can be easily explained with the help of a diagram okay just to see the diagram right In this diagram, x-axis represents number of years and similarly y-axis shows see, the level of business activity, other words, the level of economic activity. And the line A, B has been drawn gradually upwards from left to right this line indicates see the prosperity phase of the business cycle or full employment see the line ab represents full employment okay or prosperity full employment or prosperity and see below this line we have two phases or two stages of the business cycle. See?
Oke. Okay. Ya. Yeah. I told you. A typical trade cycle has five different stages. Okay? Five different phases. See? Depression. Recovery. Prosperity. Inflation. Recession. And finally ends up with the depression. First of all, just let us explain what is depression. Yeah, depression we mean it is a period characterized by falling prices, falling profits, existence of large scale unemployment, pessimism, despair. Okay, what is produced remains unsolved. In short, in during the period of depression, aggregate demand is less than aggregate supply. Yeah, aggregate supply of goods and services is exceeds aggregate demand. And if it is so, I told you, existence of large scale unemployment. When the total supply exceeds total demand, what will happen? Yeah, the produced output remains unsold. That is, market neglect will be the result. In such a situation, the producing units or the business class as a whole purposefully begins to cut short the volume of their investment. When investment decreases, see, the further employment opportunities will also decrease by that much. Yeah, when employment decreases, income decreases, demand decreases, okay, and in course of time, the economy move towards the period of slump. That is, the worst period of depression has been called the slump. See, the low level of economic activity. Here, the rock, rock bottom level of the business activity or economic activity has been called uh, by J.M. Keynes as slump. Yeah. And after the lowest point of depression has been reached, the economy gradually move towards prosperity or full employment through the phase of recovery. Okay. During this period, or the recovery period is characterized by a slight, see, slight rise in the level of prices. When price increases, more and more investment will be made. Employment opportunities rises. Yeah, profit margin rises. And uh, gradually the economy moves towards the phase of prosperity or full employment. During this period, uh, we know aggregated demand is equal to aggregated supply. Yeah, what is produced will be sold off. Nothing remains unsold within the market. Okay, yeah. Prosperity stage or prosperity phase of the business cycle is characterized by yeah, full employment. None which remains unemployed. All the factors, land, labor, capital and organizations are get employment opportunities. In, see, such a period or during the period of full employment, none of the factors, factor agents remains unemployed. Yeah, such a period is called uh, prosperity or full employment. And after the full employment has been reached, and if the continuance of investment uh, after the phase of full employment causes, see the creation of inflation. Okay, rising trend of prices, rising profit. The businessmen or the entrepreneurs as a whole are optimistic minded. More and more investment will be made. And in course of time, a particular economic situation will be emerged inside the economic system in which the number of employment opportunities generated exceeds what is actually needed by the labor force of the economy. That is what is called overfull employment. Okay, see, the after 
the full employment of the economy has been reached the economy see move rapidly towards the period of boom through inflation yeah here aggregated demand for goods and services is greater than the available supply or aggregate supply of goods and services rising trend of prices see during the period of boom that is the peak point of inflation has been called boom during the period of boom prices of the commodities and services rises sky high okay profit touch a new height the entrepreneurs all the business class as a whole are over optimistic minded okay we know see after the boom phase of the business cycle has been reached the economy gradually move towards prosperity or full employment through the phase of recession yeah by recession means yeah the entrepreneurs or businessmen purposefully starts cut short or curtail the volume of their investments when investment decreases employment opportunities decreases production decreases okay profit margin falls and the economy again moves towards the phase of prosperity here again aggregate demand for goods and services is equal to the aggregate supply consisting of consumption goods and investment goods yeah and see the economy never stop the process of the fluctuations after having the prosperity phase of the business cycle has been reached again economy move towards slump through the period of depression and this process continues okay what i am saying is according to james keynes a typical business cycle has five different phases or five different stages such as depression that is a typical business cycle begins with depression to be followed by recovery prosperity inflation recession and finally ends up with the depression okay yeah it's very simple the business cycle or trade cycle can be easily explained with the help of this diagram in this diagram x axis measures number of years y axis level of business activity or the level of economic activity by business cycle we mean economic fluctuations that is alternating waves of booms and depressions okay yeah prosperity followed by depression or depression followed by prosperity in other words see a typical trade cycle is composed of periods of good trade characterized by see rising trend of prices of goods and services and the existence of low unemployment percentages altering with the periods of bad trade characterized by falling trend of prices and existence of high unemployment percentages see in this diagram a b represents see the full employment line okay each and every point on the line ab represents full employment of labor and other productive resources in such a situation none which remains unemployed land labor capital and entrepreneurship as a whole okay fully employed yeah and below the full employment line or prosperity line we have two stages depression in the downswing and recovery in the upswing depression i told you yeah is a period characterized by falling prices of goods and services falling profit of the businessman as a whole or producing units existence of large scale unemployment pessimism 
despair, etc., etc., etc. And the worst point of depression has been known as slum. Yeah. The existence of mass unemployment, poverty, misery, etc. among the part of the people in general. And after this phase, see, slump has been reached, the economy gradually moved towards the period of prosperity through recovery. We know what is recovery. Yeah, the economy recovers gradually. Okay, from depression. Yeah, there is a sign of economic development. There is a sign of growth. In such a situation, yeah, the business class as a whole or producers in general starts investing. Okay, and when investment increases, we know employment opportunities will also increase by that much. And when employment opportunities increases, income will be generated. Well, when income increases, demand for goods and services will increase. Okay. When demand for goods and services will increase, yeah, further investment will be made by the entrepreneurs. And in such a way, the economy gradually moves towards prosperity or full employment through the period of recovery. Yeah, the process does not end here. Yeah, the process continues. That is why here it is said, uh, see, the continuance of investment even after the period of full employment causes the period of or the phase of inflation. Rising trend of prices, rising profit, existence of large scale employment opportunities. Yeah. A particular situation emerges or will be established inside the economic system in which the employment opportunities generated exceeds actually the existing labor force of the economy. That is what is called I told you over full employment. In such a situation, aggregate demand for goods and services is greater than the aggregate supply of goods and services. Okay. Aggregated demand we mean demand for consumption goods and investment goods. Right? Yeah, which is greater than the aggregated supply, that is total production. And uh, the worst situation of inflation is called a uh, boom. Yeah, the in such a situation, profit of the entrepreneurs rises sky high. Okay. And uh, the worst element of boom carries the seeds of its destruction. Therefore, the economy moved downwards to the phase of prosperity through the, through the period of recession. And again, depression. In short, a typical business cycle having five different phases begins with the depression to be followed by recovery, prosperity, inflation, recession and finally ends up with the depression. Okay? Very simple. At the very same time, it is very important. I think you like this video. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay? Just enable the bell icon too so that you will get my new videos as notifications. Have a nice day. Thank you.